Okay guys, this is Smiles here, and uh, this video is for all the folks that are helping me with my 1979 Volkswagen bus, uh, 2.0 engine. Actually, this engine's out of a 78, but I'm getting it going for the uh, first time in a few years. Uh, I've done some things to it that I've talked about on the Samba uh, discussions, but this is about the timing. Um, those of you who have been talking to on Samba understand the com you know the conversation. Okay, so this is for you. Hopefully this comes up clear. I've tried to clarify everything I can. Um, let me grab let me grab uh, something for I'm oh, sorry about the terrible video right now. I just need a pointer. Okay. How about this? All right, so my pulley has these weird marks. Wild Things has one that is similar, and it's these four marks here, 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 and here. They're four crimps. Now, Wild Things marks look kind of randomly spaced, but these, and I'm not sure if the video will pick it up well, let's see if I get the angle right. Um, you can see the zero marked um, on my timing scale. Um, sorry to tilt it. Uh, the zero marked on my timing scale um, in white, and then that green dot on my timing scale is 7.5. Um, so, these marks line up perfectly with 5, 0, 5 and 7.5 um, to the right of the zero there. Um, now, believing those to be my timing marks, um, which I am learning that I'm wrong about that, um, I was believing that the one with the green nail polish, or the second notch, um, was zero, and with that line, um, with that notch lined up with a zero on the scale, you can see this mark that is a little off-white. It is directly at the top under that bolt. Um, that mark there is what I was believing to be 28 degrees before top dead center. I determined that by measuring 51 millimeters from that green nail polish over to the one at the top. Um, that's 51 millimeters to the right, which is 28 degrees before top dead center, if that green line is indeed zero. Okay, so, what is interesting is, and I'll talk about that white mark to the right in a second, that is where the actual timing mark is that I just learned, um, based on Ratwell's site. But, when I have my engine warmed up, um, and idling at about 920 RPMs, that line that is right under that bolt at the 28 line, um, when my, my engine is, is idling at like 920, that line is perfectly lined up with the green dot on my timing scale which is seven and a half degrees before top dead center. Um, which is strange because, um, actually I need to correct myself. Um, when, before I start my engine and do the timing, I actually hand crank it down there at the center of, um, my pulley and get that zero mark, that green zero mark, the second notch, over to this seven and a half degree dot on my timing scale. And then that 28 notch under that bolt at the top of the pulley, it lines up with the 7.5 on my timing scale. So, and when that's happening, my engine runs very, 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 very smooth, sounds excellent um at least way better than it ever sounded 
um, revs up real good and um, doesn't seem like I have any issues. I haven't been able to take it on the road yet because I've got a accelerator pedal hinge that needs replaced, but um, it sounds great sitting still and I backed it before the uh, pedal actually broke off. I was able to back it up my driveway about 60 yards and forward about 60 yards and I mean, not, that's not a true road test, but it doesn't seem so terrible. But if the actual timing mark is way over here to the right, which is the one, you can't see the notch because it's on the opposite side of that belt, but that is the one that is on Ratwell's site um, uh, that I was referred to. It's the only notch other than those four little notches there that we were talking about, um, on the opposite side of the belt, just past that white line on the right, is the only notch on this whole pulley. That's the actual timing notch and if timing mark. And if that is the actual one, then this whole setup would make it all timed out weird. Um, and I don't know why it runs so smoothly with it su as such, but either way, that is my situation. I'm going to thank all you guys that are helping me once again for all your help. It's amazing that this bus is running. Um, it would have never happened from my own two hands if it wasn't for all your help. I've learned so much. And I'm going to end this video, put it on YouTube, and get it up on Samba so you guys can see it. Thank you. See ya.